Well, I've been playing around with some speeds and feeds and stuff, and and uh, pushing the carbide definitely uh, uh, makes a nicer surface finish. Holy cow! Uh, one thing I did was I I uh, I'll have to show that a little later. Um, I changed the pulleys on the sprocket so that now when the when the motor's maxed out, I'm only getting uh, 600, 800 RPMs. So I've got to get another belt or two or something like that. I got to play around with it a little bit to get in between there but uh, uh, actually I'll just show you now so basically I uh, put the shaft back on for the uh, intermediate gear with the tooth belt and uh, then I'm running on the middle pulley and wow did that up the torque and the uh, drive I don't have the slip or the stalling anymore I was just reading this morning, carbide, you're supposed to be able to cut all the way into deep purple. You'll write out the uh, the edge there, but not black. Looks like I might be touching the black edge a little bit. Definitely a little smoother than seven. Twenty-two thou. I have to do the math to find out. Uh, uh, where we're sitting. Uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty dang close to forty-five thou right there. So there's our depth of cut, and then our uh, how much we're taking off. About the twenty-two, twenty-three thou. Uh, Man, those are gnarly. <laughs> 